Kostya2003 here. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you a couple things I did in Adobe After Effects to add a few years to Clark Kent for Kingdom Come Superman. Before we get into it though, if you are new to this channel, please take a second to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay up to date with all the new stuff I have planned for you guys. Okay, so if you've never heard of Kingdom Come Superman, it's a storyline created by Mark Wade and Alex Ross that features an alternate version of Superman in the DC Comics universe. It's an amazing story and I highly recommend you guys check it out. It takes place a couple years in the future and the Superman we get here has aged a bit. Now while I'd love to see this on the big screen, it doesn't seem like we'll get the chance anytime soon. So why not play what if, put on our suspension of disbelief hats and make a fan edit for it. The only problem is we don't have any existing movies that feature an older Superman. So I'm going to have to try and bring them to life in my trusty old After Effects. Now, this is just a disclaimer, I am largely, largely self-taught with this program, so don't drag me too much if I use uh, improper terms or don't follow the correct procedures. Honestly, I just do whatever I can to get the result I'm looking for. Uh, if you know how I can do these edits more efficiently, please, by all means, just let me know. Okay, so I have this clip of Henry Cavill from Man of Steel. This is the shot where he's in the Kryptonian scout ship talking to his father and looking directly at the suit. but. We're going to repurpose this shot for Kingdom Come. One of the first things I want to change here is the shakiness of the footage. Edits like the one I want to make go a lot more smoothly if the footage is stabilized, and we can do that with the tracking system in After Effects. Click Stabilize Motion and place the first point over one eye. Click the rotation and the second tracking point goes on the other eye. Next, click Analyze and the tracker will create keyframes as best it can for each frame of the clip. Click OK, and if the tracking points didn't slip, then the footage should be stabilized pretty well, looking nice and smooth just the way I like it. Before I go on, I should mention that I did apply the tracking data to a null object. It's essentially the same thing as we did before, but with a few other steps. Go ahead and create a null object layer, then click your source, and this time, instead of clicking Stabilize Motion, click Track Motion. Place your tracking points where they need to go, hit Analyze, and then, here, we want to apply the data to the null layer we just created. Parent your effect to the null object, and this is where the magic is in getting objects to stick to and move with your footage. Now we can move on to the fun stuff. The first thing I wanted to do in making Clark Kent look older was to add some gray hair to his beard. I grabbed this picture of a gray-bearded George Clooney and masked some of his features to use as overlays. While I'm certain there are better ways to do this in After Effects, I don't fully know the ins and outs of the program, so I had to find a workaround. In a previous video that you can catch here, I mocked up an edit of Old Superman, and to get some of the wrinkles and smile lines you see on Cavill's face, I repurposed a pic of Brad Pitt using his features as overlays. Next up was to scale and position the Brad Pitt wrinkle layers and add some color corrections to the skin tone to match Cavill's in Man of Steel. When I had the look I thought I wanted, I parented the layer to the null and scrubbed through the clip multiple times looking for errors and making further edits before continuing on. After some more scrubbing, I did a quick pre-render to see the effect in real time. So the pre-render looked okay, but I still saw some things that needed tweaking. So I went back in to play with the color, shape, and scale.
You'll notice that while I work through things, I'm constantly switching layers off and on, moving back and forth between keyframes. It really helps me to make sure I'm getting the look right and that the effect is animating with the footage properly. So after all the editing, fine tuning, checking and rechecking, I realized I did not like the look. Rather than looking older, I felt like he looked tired. So I scrapped the Brad Pitt overlays and tried again with George Clooney's features instead. Having to scrap my work and start all over again is something I'm used to. Um, it's something I went through all the time when I was editing for Superman Doomsday. Um, it's something I got used to and something I actually welcomed because it helped me to make the improvements needed to make it look as good as I could. Uh, so if you ever run into issues like that, never feel discouraged. Just keep going for it and don't stop until you're satisfied that you did your best. With the eyes and facial hair done, I moved on to adding some gray hair to his temples. Same process as everything else. Draw masks, rotate, scale position, and color correct. There really isn't a trick to this. Just fine tune things until it feels right. So I feel a lot more satisfied with this second attempt at the edit. He's starting to look a bit more aged rather than tired and the design is really taking shape. Now it's time to make sure that the gray hair on his temples animates with the footage the right way or I can't sell the look. I do a quick RAM preview and immediately see that the hair is floating and not sticking. I created a new null object so I could try and tighten up the track on that area. The video is not buffering here. I'm actually moving back and forth between keyframes many times to see if the hair is sticking well. Uh, if it isn't, I move the position manually for each keyframe until it feels right. After all the fine tuning, once again I pre-rendered the clip to see the animations in real time. And there you have it folks, old Clark Kent, Henry Cavill with the salt and pepper edit. I did my best to keep the aging subtle because I really didn't want to go overboard with it, so I was satisfied with this attempt. After this video was done, I did make some further edits that I didn't get to record, such as the addition of a smile line and some small tweaks to the eye bags. Also decided that I wanted to take him out of the scout ship, so I masked him out and put him on a new background. That meant I had to add hair to his head since we couldn't see it in the dark, uh, but again, it was all done using the same techniques you saw throughout this video, so you're not missing much. Well, that brings me to the end of this video. I'm really glad I could give you guys a behind the scenes peek at the work going into Kingdom Come Superman. And I hope you found it helpful for whatever projects you might wanna take on. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and share it on your social media. If there's a particular edit you'd like to see, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to try and make it happen. See you guys soon.